What's up guys? Like this bag? Good news. I've partnered up with Oberworth and we're gonna give this bag away. Yes, you heard that correctly. Oberworth and I are doing a little partnership where I'm gonna be giving away the SL small bag to a viewer on this channel. First though, we're gonna do a little photo walk. I'm here in Palm Springs today, surrounded in basically what is a time capsule in the US. We're gonna check out some houses here in this neighborhood and we'll be using the bag today. So this is the Oberworth SL small bag and inside of it, I've got a Leica SL. Ah, 2S still, because uh, I didn't get the SL3. And that's okay, because I don't need the SL3, and actually I'm selling this one, so if you're in the market for an SL 2S and a Leica 24 to 70 lens, I got you. This whole kit was in this bag in separate pieces because this bag has two compartments inside of it, as you can see right here. But enough about the technical parts of this bag, you can hop on their website and read all about that. Let me tell you what my experience was like. When I first took this out of its box, the first thing I noticed was that the quality of this leather is pretty freaking unreal. I have done a lot of commercial photography with leather. In fact, leather is kind of what I was known for for many years. I have worked with leather boots, leather accessories, wallets, watch bands. I've done so many leather products before, but this, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm not telling you this because of the partnership I'm doing with Overworth right now. I'm being 100% real with you. This feels amazing. Another thing I noticed as a camera bag owner who has a lot of bags, <laughs> raise your hand if you're with me, the structure of this bag is really impressive because it has a very solid form even when empty. Right now there's nothing in this bag and you can see that the form is still very much there. It doesn't collapse into itself like other bags. This clasp is classy. I am like, again, I've never had an Oberworth bag and I am like really impressed at the build quality, the finishes they used on this. The strap is incredibly comfortable. The shoulder pad is super soft and has like more than enough width to support the weight that you would put in a bag this size. It feels good against my body and I've got a little bit of a dad bod. You know, I've got this little belly here and the bag feels really perfect against it. It doesn't like conform in a weird way. I've got the strap set right under my ribs so that way I can pocket it on the side here or carry it in the front like I do on most of my photo walks so I can quickly get in, get what I want, and shut it back. Now this is not a gear channel, and so I don't wanna to get too much into all of the tech specs. Again, you can read about it right below, but I think you would be stoked to put your camera in this bag. And when I say your camera, it doesn't have to be a Leica. It's just a bag. You can put whatever you want in here. And just because it is the SL bag doesn't mean you have to put a Leica SL in here either. In fact, I put this together to show you what was in this bag because this is a really big camera body and a really big lens. I'm just an M guy at the end of the day. So I'm gonna put my Leica M11 in here and we'll go on a little photo walk and see how this bag performs as we walk around and I'm digging in and digging out of it. All right, let's go. All right, let's grab the M. We'll put the M6 with the 50 Sumalux into the bag. Get that guy in there. Thing on this side. I'll put in my 35 Sumalux in case I want to use that. Let's grab this M11. I'm gonna wear this guy. Got the 28 Sumacron on it. Let's shut the trunk. Boom. Also, I rented an economy car, but when I got to the car rental place, they didn't have any left. All they had was this blue Mustang. So I guess I got to deal with it. Of course, it's sunny here every day. And the one day I come, clouds never fails.
I gotta be honest, it almost feels kind of like a tease being out in Palm Springs and having like no light. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it and come back out in the morning because I wanna get great shots. But quick update, the bag is rocking and rolling. And I'm still planning to give this bag away. More on that, just keep watching. Okay, so it's morning and I'm back out where I was trying to shoot yesterday, but you know, obviously the clouds kind of crushed everything. This morning we have no clouds. So I'm gonna continue doing a little photo walk through this giant neighborhood and just finding some cool houses. Let me just also add that if you're ever taking photos in a neighborhood of people's homes, I mean, this is iconic and they probably get a lot of traffic through here, people taking photos, but you gotta do it with some sensitivity and respect. I saw some people pull up yesterday doing some like influencer style photos and the girl in her dress was walking up to people's doors and standing in their doorways while the guy was taking photos. That really bugged me. I almost got it on video and took some photos of myself just to shame them, but I didn't because that's not the kind of channel this is. Just remember to carry yourself with respect as a photographer and don't intrude on other people. That's really weird. All right guys, let's get back on our photo walk and let's respectfully take a few more photos. All right, now let's talk for a minute about how you can become the new owner of this beautiful Oberworth SL small bag. Now you may recall, as I said before, you don't have to put an SL into this bag, though it is made for that and it is perfect for it, especially if you've got an SL body and a Leica 24 to 70 like I have, it's literally perfect. But this bag can be yours for whatever camera system you shoot. So here's what you gotta do. Number one, be a subscriber of this channel. Number two, you need to like this video. Number three, you need to drop a comment below and let me know what camera you would be putting into your Oberworth bag. And as a bonus, if you follow me and Oberworth on Instagram, I will give you two more entries in the drawing. One week from today, I'm gonna to be making this drawing. I'm gonna take all the names of everyone that has met those criteria, that has subscribed to this channel, like this video, drop the comment below, and additionally, followed me and Oberworth on Instagram. Gonna put them all in a generator, let it spit out a name one week from today, and I'll be sending this bag over to whoever wins. So now would be a good time to go do those things. We're gonna wrap this photo walk up, find a few more cool shots. All right, guys, be sure to follow all the directions. I'm excited to send one of you this bag. I gotta head back to the bay. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.